Hey everyone, in this video, let's talk about how you can use RenderNet. In order to do so, here we are at app.rendernet.ai and we're all logged in. You can go to rendernet.ai and from there you can launch the app. And that's going to bring you to this page here. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the pricing for RenderNet. So we could see that we have a basic plan for $5 USD, the standard plan at $14. We have ultra at 41 and elite at 150. And these do appear to be on sale right now. So it does seem as though the sale is ending soon. So there's no uh, telling whether or not that's going to last too long. From that point, the basic is going to be $9 and the standard is 24. So if you uh, have the chance to head over to RenderNet, then you can go ahead and sign in. Now the monthly is a little bit different. We do have that at $9 already. Looks like the uh, sale right now is specifically for the yearly. Let's go ahead and head back home. And this is what we're going to find here. So we can create a music video. So you can see here, new feature alert, stunning music videos of your characters. Let's go ahead and click on that. So here we can upload a song and we can describe the video uh, here and we can select a character so we can actually create our own character so this is a character that i've created and added that in here uh, so that's pretty neat uh, the idea that you can uh, create a music video with your own characters here we can create a character select that and here we can generate a character or we can start with a face. So you can upload a character. If you have uh, somebody that you're going, uh, a face that you want to upload here, then you can do that. Or you can actually generate something within RenderNet. So let's go ahead and just head back here. You can see, so I've created this character here. And uh, we have a variety of others that we can choose from as well. So here we have, what are they doing? So we have our character holding a large tote bag and a cell phone walking on pavement. The day is sunny and background shows withering fall leaves. So we can actually choose a specific character and then we can specify what it is that they're doing. We also have some helpful suggestions here that we can select as well. And once we are ready to go, then what we can do is we can either generate an image or we can generate a video. So I'm not sure exactly let's see what we have in the way of credits now well, let's see what happens here let's go ahead and try generating a video see okay yeah so we're out of credits so unfortunately at this point we won't be able to generate but you can at least get the idea for how render networks let's just go ahead and close this out here and you can see for yourself how the video editing works so we have the music video tool here we can create a narrator and we also have video face swap um, here we can upload our image we can write our prompt and when we're ready we can go ahead and click generate this is in video mode let's go ahead and check out image mode and we could see that we have the option to do an 8k upscale we can do a face replace true touch let's go ahead and click on that enhance the realism of ai characters and upscale okay that's quite nice so if you have a, a character that uh, maybe doesn't look all that good and you want to upscale that and enhance the realism then you can use that function that's quite nice we have a prompt generator so this is pretty cool we can select attributes of the humans you want to generate so we could specify gender origin age body type hair type hair color style background we can even randomize and then here you could see that the prompt is generated here so all of the details that we added here that adds the prompt here and then we can use this prompt if we want to uh, bring that into our um, our image prompt so that's pretty neat that they have that we have close swap so you can upload an image of your clothing you could select the clothing type top tops bottoms one pieces we can upload our image so this is pretty neat so if you want to just put yourself in here and you want to see what you look like wearing different types of clothes then you can do that um, you can also use whatever character you might want product photo so we can 
upload a photo containing an object. We can select mode here, steady or dynamic, great details, consistent background, dynamic, great details and lighting background will change. And then we can upload a background image. So if we want to put in our photo for a product and then we want to change the background. So that's pretty neat. That's a, a helpful if you are trying to sell something and you want a nice picture for that. And here we have consistency control. So we can select our character. We can select face lock. So I guess that's not going to work unless we deselect that. And then let's see here. What does face lock do? So that's going to upload a photo to generate images with the same face. So that's pretty cool. So we can uh, use face lock if we want to generate several images with the same face. Pose lock. Use pose lock to get the same pose and composition. So that's interesting as well. So we can uh, upload our photo here and we can create a template. We've got the different uh, poses here. Um, so that's really quite nice as well. So if you have your character and you want to have them in a specific pose, then you can do that there. So that gives you an idea of what RenderNet is capable of. We uh, have some additional options down here. We can um, change our model. We can change the aspect ratio. We can specify the image count. We have our seed. And that's pretty much uh, what RenderNet is going to do for you. So it's uh, pretty straightforward in terms of what it can accomplish. If you're interested in image generation and video generation, go ahead and give RenderNet a try. They do offer some free credits to get started. But once those credits run out, then you are going to need to get the subscription. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe for more helpful tips.